An alarming study released today reveals that student depression is on the rise. 25% of those who muster up the courage to visit the campus health clinic are suffering symptoms that should not go unchecked. Lack of sleep, a general feeling of sadness, and for some, thoughts of suicide. CTV's Daniel Hamamjan now on who's at risk and why. Some say it's a trend among the generation raised by baby boomers. It was such a huge change from where I was living because my family was very protective. Once in university, the challenges of coping with the real world. You feel alone and like you're away from your family and you've got so much going on and you're, it's really overwhelming and you just you don't know what to do. Enough to lead to depression, according to this study. In both Canada and the U.S., more than 1,600 students who visited campus health centers were surveyed. The results show one in four have signs of clinical depression. One of the things that we did look at is, is different kinds of predictors of um, that depressive symptoms. And perhaps surprising to some, one of the biggest factors, emotional abuse. If the numbers seem frightening, here's another perspective. It's always been common. Not only that, so Professor Stan Kutcher believes these results were incorrectly reported. In order to be diagnosed with depression, you have to meet five of the nine symptoms. Sleep disturbance, lack of interest, feelings of guilt, loss of concentration, energy and appetite, inability to experience pleasure, mood is low and thoughts of suicide, persistent. If you didn't have symptoms of depression sometime in the last week, there's something wrong with you. You're, you're brain dead. He says everyone has some of these symptoms, few have them all. But 18-year-old Nadia Kajuji did, a law student who was depressed. Her grades were down, her heart broken by her ex. She sought help online and connected with a male nurse posing as a suicidal woman. He convinced her to kill herself. Her body later found in the Rideau River. Nadia Kajuji was a first-year university student. Danielle Hamamjin, CTV News, Ottawa.